Hey YouTube, Big D here. It's time to review Legends, the two-hour season finale. Now, I'm not going to talk about episode 9. Obviously, I think it was a great episode, episode 9, which is titled Wilderness of Mirrors. Uh, I wrote everything down for it, but, you know, the shortage is, is that Sonya and her son was kidnapped, blah, blah, blah. Martin saves him, ba boom, ba boom. He learns that Martin Odom was a legend. And Sonya is shot in the chest, and it was a lie, but it became real, and Sonya's still alive, so that was episode 9. By the way, spoilers for the season finale, which is the last episode, so. Anyway, let's get right to it, man, first off. The flashback with Martin at the hospital, they get him out. I'm going to go quick with this, guys, because I had, there's a lot of stuff that went down and it's going to take forever to talk about it if I don't just zoom through it. So I, I don't want to waste your time. So There's codes on his arms. Cameron calls Martin. They go to Cameron's apartment. There's a car chase. The, they crash. Varax took Martin. Uh, the show Shaw talks to Martin. He was a spy for MI6. Does a broken arrow. He bombed the friendlies, which is Martin's fault. Martin is John Cameron and Bennett gets shot. Looks like Martin killed him, but he really didn't. Nicholas is the new FBI director. Walks away at the end. Martin gets a new identity, and all his uh, legends were classified in his previous files. I just shortened all that up, and that was way better than me reading everything. So, wow. I should do that a lot more often. Anyway. what Now, what, this you're here for the review, so what did I think about Legends, the two-hour season finale? What did I think about it? Well, now that you ask... <laughs> I thought that first off cons is at the ending. I don't like the last five minutes. I don't like the way that he just walks away. I feel like they could have ended it on a different note. Now 80% of this feels like there's going to be a season two. They left it off for a season two since they canceled Dallas. Maybe they'll cancel this or maybe they'll renew it. If you renew this, you guys are dicks because come on, Dallas could have got renewed. But I digress. I already see people on Facebook, season two, season two. I'm ready for season two. I'm one of you guys. But the ending, the last five minutes was, ugh, like he just walked away, and I was like, no, what are you doing? I'm just jogging at the end. Don't do that. Kick some ass. What are you doing walking away? What do you mean, wussy? Anyway, some parts were slow within the two episodes, episode 9 and episode 10. Some parts were slow. About 42% of both episodes were slow. Other than that, it was high, intense action that kept you on the, the edge of your feet. Or seat or edge of your bed or the feet of the edge of the bed of the seat, whatever, man. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't like the new FBI director. Yeah, I don't like the storyline that's going with it. He shot the FBI director. Well, and it's just why can't everyone believe Martin and say no? I was framed. There you go, skaboosh. Simple as that. I don't know why it's that hard. But now pros, the action for this show is for the. This is the best action I've seen out of the past two episodes. Really high intense. Uh, that car rolling over, man, that was pretty intense. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, that was really good. And the gun scenes, a little of the gun scenes were like, oh, your X forces and all that can't just shoot them real easily, but you're missing everything. I can't see. Come on, you're better than that. I love the dialogue between the characters, and I love how. The son saved the mom and everything within the episodes. I love the music in the season finale. Like, the last five minutes, just the music. That's what I like about it, other than what actually happened. I love the outcome of some stuff of, uh, like, Sonya and the son. And, like, other than that, that they left hanging at parts. You know what I'm saying? The outcome. I don't need to explain. The outcome. Uh, flashbacks. The flashbacks were pretty pretty amazing I enjoyed it I like how he called in the bomb and he was like broken arrow broken arrow and he's like sir you do know they're friendly there yes I do know you must do it it's, it's crazy man but Shaw eh, if we could have seen him like in episode 2 and he could have been leading up as the villain possibly would have been a little bit more fun instead of introducing him like 3 episodes before but I digress anyway. Remember that chemistry episode two? <laughs> no. 
Anyway, overall, I'm going to give the season finale a A minus, secondarily a B minus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed it. And if they're real quick to all, you know, everyone who's been following me for the past 10 weeks, thank you all for watching season one. It started off for my old channel that got suspended, now the new one. Everyone who's been watching my Legend review for week after week, thank you so much to all of you. And if there is a season two, 100%, I'm going to announce right now, I will be reviewing season two. Thank you so much. All of you enjoyed. Share this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the season finale, baby. Till next time, may the Spock be with you. Always just reviewed Arrow season three. About to review American War Stories. Freak show.